Guy here back again with another DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus tutorial. Uh, now, if you're new to the Phantom, you probably are not that familiar with the camera. So, what I'm going to do is explain how to pan the camera up and down while you're flying. Now, there's two ways to do it. If you're looking at the, uh, the left side of the screen, you'll see the arrow that points to the left, and then right below that, there looks like a little uh, circle with a ring around it. If you select that, that's going to turn blue. Now what will happen if you hold your iPhone in your hand like I am now, and mine looks murky, I've got the, uh, the lens cover on my camera, but if you, hold, if you angle it upwards, your camera's going to go up. You can see now I'm in the utmost position. That's indicated by the red line at the right side of the display. So now I'm going to slowly tilt my camera, my iPhone rather, I'm going to tilt it down, and you're going to see the camera's going to go that way. And I'm, at, I'm in the down, downward most position now, and that's indicated by the red. So likewise, you can pan up just a little bit and stop and not be, uh, not be all the way up or all the way down, however you want to do the camera. Now, that's with the, what this is using is the thing that's built into the iPhone. I think it's called the gyroscope, or maybe it's the accelerometer. So I'm doing this just by tilting my iPhone up and down. So to toggle that off, all you do is push that little icon again that looks like the circle with the ring around it, and now you can see it's white. And, and personally, I don't prefer to fly using the, uh, the gyroscope because when you're holding the controller, sometimes you have a tendency to bring it to your face or take it away from your face because of the glare from the sun. So it's not necessarily optimal for me, but it is cool. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, if you're sitting in a shady location where you don't have any problem seeing your screen, it's easy to fly your, uh, fly your Phantom and use that to manipulate the camera. But the second way to do it, this is the way I most often do it. See that up arrow and that down arrow towards the left side of the screen below the, uh, the little ball with the ring around it? Push down, the camera will go down. As you can see there, it's going down. You push up, the camera will go up. And I like this one because you just tap it and you can see it's, uh, it's easy to put it exactly where you want it. Like right there is about halfway, right there. And then I'm going to take it to the most extreme upward position. And I like how off at the right, like I mentioned earlier, you see that turns red when you go to the very top. See it's red now. And then when I scroll down, it's, it's green. Um, that's nice because... It's just a visual acknowledgement that you can't go up anymore. See, I'm at the upward most position. Likewise, now if I scroll down, it's going to turn red when I get in the downward most position right there. So that's just really neat. It, it's a, it's a, cool, a cool way to control the camera. That's something you don't get with the previous generation Phantoms. You don't get the, uh, you don't get the gimbal and the ability to to pan the camera up and down and check out my videos because I've I filmed a lot of videos where I'll be flying with the uh, with the camera facing forward initially and then during flight I'll pan it down to uh, to stare straight down or what whatever uh, whatever way I want to position it so it's really neat this is easy to learn uh, check out my other DJI Phantom 2 Plus videos I've got a lot of tutorials again this was how to how to use the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus camera, how to tilt it up and down. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash irixguy, and share this video with others. Y'all have a good day.